Hey guys, Kyle here with Stillen, and today I'm excited to talk about one of the most popular parts that we've ever made here at Stillen. Since 1986, Stillen's been a leader in Nissan and Infiniti high performance tuning. In 2009, Nissan came out with a Nissan 370Z. It was a hit of a car, 3.7 liter V6, absolutely fantastic platform, one that we really have enjoyed modifying since that time. We immediately went to work on an air intake system for the vehicle. It's one of the things that we're known for here at Stillen and one of the things that we really prioritize when it comes to product development. So the first thing we did was we came up with a very popular setup that we used a lot on the 350Z. It was called a short ram. Basically, it was a polyurethane air shield. It had an air filter and a velocity tube inside. The entire system was very good. It, it worked well. It didn't produce a lot of power, but it overall improved the sound, the performance. It was a great little system. However, our engineering team was dedicated to finding a system that would make a big bang. So they went to work for more than a year and came up with 56 prototypes before we finalized on the Gen 3 long tube dual intake system for the 370Z, G37, and G35 sedan and 350Z HRs. All four of those applications have really been successful with this Gen 3 long tube dual intake design. What it comes with is you get everything that you see here. So you have the aluminum intake tubes, two air filters, you get all of your mounting hardware and, and couplers, and on the G37 and G35s, where the front grille exposes the air filters, we include a polyurethane air shield to deflect any water, debris, or anything else that could damage the air filters. Now, what makes the Stillen Gen 3 intakes the best intakes on the market for the 370Z, G37, G35, and 350Z? Well, simply put, we put, as I say, more than a year of engineering time into developing these intake systems. A tremendous amount of work went in to consider all aspects of the design of this intake. To start with, we have a three inch inlet tube right here. This three inch inlet tube necks down into a two and a half inch inlet tube that leads all the way up to the throttle body. We have CNC machine billet aluminum mass airflow sensor bosses welded to aircraft quality 6061 T6 aluminum. We're extremely proud to say that all of this manufacturing is done here in the United States in our facility in Costa Mesa, California. Some of the most popular questions that we've been getting lately are why did we go with aluminum and why did we go with a two and a half inch diameter tube? They're very good questions and we have very good answers. The reason why we chose a two and a half inch diameter tube is because that is the size that is closest to the factory uh, mass airflow sensor, the factory intake tube. If we were to change that, you absolutely have to recalibrate the entire ECU. You have to retune the car in order to get it to run the larger diameter uh, tube. Um, and simply put, that just increases the cost tremendously. You're talking about now a $700 tuning license. You're talking about hours on the dyno. Um, it just, it increases the cost exponentially. So now a five, $600 air intake system, $700 at the absolute high end, uh, you know, you're talking about now becomes a $1,500 to $2,000 intake system, in some cases higher. We have had some customers tell us that they even needed to throw new fuel injectors in there. So now you're starting to talk about potentially $3,000 uh, for an air intake system. Just not something that we felt was really uh, necessary and the gains don't really uh, outweigh the cost. Uh, you know, you're talking about a slight increase in power over a two and a half inch that bolts right on is 50 state emissions compliant and does not require any additional tuning. Um, so for those reasons, we chose the two and a half inch diameter tube. There are a number of benefits to a silicone tube. First is the cost. Silicone is significantly less expensive than aluminum. There's a lot of work that goes into an aluminum tube. You have just the material cost alone. Uh, and then all the labor to bend it and cut it and weld it and, and prepare it for you and polish it. Um, so there's quite a lot more cost than what goes into a silicone tube. However, the downside with a silicone tube is that if the silicone tube is reduced to get through the front core support, then that becomes a restriction. You have to modify that front core support and open it up to fit a two and a half inch tube in order to get sufficient airflow coming through in order to produce the power that you need. A silicone tube simply won't 
give you the power that you need because it becomes a restriction unless you modify that front core support. In addition to that, silicone tubes, as you can see, are significantly thicker than aluminum tube. So aluminum tube, we can get away with 0.065 wall thickness. It's a, it's a minimal wall thickness. And as you can see, we're getting as much air volume as possible. When you go with a silicone tube, it's substantially thicker wall requires much more modification on the front core support in order to get it through without impeding the airflow. The other disadvantage to a silicone intake tube is the fact that silicone is very flexible. Well, your engine is a vacuum pump. It's sucking air as hard as it can every which way that it can get it from. So as you're reaching full RPM and you have that air rushing through this intake tube and you've got this long stretch of, of open tube there, the engine actually produces so much vacuum that it can actually suck the silicone shut. We've seen this on a number of different vehicles, even some of them that come from the factory with rubber or silicone in, inlet tubes. For that reason, we felt that aluminum was gonna be much more rigid, much more durable, and was the ultimately the best choice to use. So those are just a few of the reasons why we chose the materials that we did and how we came up with the design for this intake system. As I say, we went through 56 different prototypes and more than a year of engineering before we finalized the design of the Gen 3 intakes. These intake systems have been the most popular intake system on the market for those Nissan vehicles for the last decade. Something that we're extremely proud of to manufacture these and we manufacture them here in-house in Costa Mesa, California. Give us a call and speak to one of our experts to learn more about the Gen 3 intake systems for your vehicle. Thanks for watching and have a great day.